Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Today I'm going to do an unboxing on the Nike Premier 2 in the gold colorway. I know I've done um, other unboxings of the shoe. I even did a play test long time ago. If you saw, if you've been following my channel, um, you know I did that on the black with like the orange colorway. This is my favorite color of them all. Um, I do have another colorway coming on, uh, on its way. Should be here soon. Um, but yeah, this is the gold with the white swoosh colorway because I already have the white um, with the gold. So let's open it up. Nike Premier 2 gold colorway. Actually, it is metallic vivid gold. Um, then, fresh out the box, you got that. that's what you got. Um, pretty, pretty great shoe, I would say, in my opinion. It is one of Nike's uh, better cleats that they offer right now at a low price um i've talked about this before in my other videos um it is just a great amazing all-around shoe you could wear it if you're a striker you're a midfielder um if you're a forward the reason i don't think that they have professionals wear it it's kind of the same thing with the copa mundial where um they just want to promote their newer stuff but i don't know why this one gets left behind like i said this is an amazing colorway um it, the shoe has the kangaroo leather in, in the front toe box, so it just molds to your foot. The whole shoe is just very comfortable. It's just a nice fitting shoe that um, definitely, I would think if you are undecided on um, what shoe or boot you want to buy, maybe you have just came from wearing a certain style and you want to switch it up and you don't know, but you want some new shoes and don't want to break the bank, I think this is the good option for you and they make a lot of colors um, right now maybe you can't find them like on Nike but I know you can find them on East Bay um, uh, we're all those like you can find shops where they're gonna make or sell the other colorways and they have a bunch of colorways like I said you can find all black you can find like a blue you can find a gray with the red you can find the gold you can find the white with the gold just a ton of colors for an amazing um, shoe and at $110 um, that's to me that's a steal that's a very good deal on these um, $110 is not a lot and it's gonna be a good durable shoe um, in terms of fit I would say go to your size a lot of people want to um, uh, tell you to go half a size down because this leather is gonna stretch but let me tell you I don't think I have extremely wide feet but I've never encountered that problem um, with cleats I've never um bought a cleat that was my exact size and then it stretched out too much where i couldn't feel it i know people say that but i've just never had that problem um and i have bought temples and i have size down expecting them to stretch and they never really stretch so i feel like unless you have wide feet i don't think you really need to go the half size down i think just keep it true to size because if you think about it the leather is going to stretch based off your foot so if your foot isn't there to stretch it out, I don't, I don't think um, you're really gonna need that um, half size down. Um, yeah, I will say, uh, opening these up and looking at them, I'm not too happy with the quality on these. This pair, I, this is like my, let me see, two, three, my fourth pair of premieres, and it's got to be the worst one that I received. Um, when I opened it, as you can see, it was the paper was unwrapped. Um, uh, it, it has they have some defects to them, a little indent here, some stitching already coming undone there. Um, I wouldn't say they're dirty, but they do have some marks um, right here, and it just and then you got that issue right there you know if it kind of does suck when you're spending you know your money 
your money on, on, on these shoes and you know you expect a good quality product. Um, with that being said, um, I have no fear in returning these or um, sending them back to Nike. Um, I, I don't want to say that they're used, but even even in here, it's a little bit already discolored, like they were sitting around somewhere, I don't know. Um, weird story with the premieres, for some reason, the colors at work, I can look up, you know, um, what shoes are going to be released, what we have in inventory, what's coming up, things like, of that nature. And with the premieres, I can never... Um, figure out when they're going to release or anything like that and they'll show up in the inventory but it says we don't have any so that was the case with these these released a long time ago um at other places um but we never got them for some reason online until barely recently that i checked and they were actually available um to me um so i don't i don't know same thing would happen with the white and 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 gold ones um i don't know if nike maybe has them being sold at you know other places like soccer.com east bay things like that and then maybe don't sell so then nike um, buys them gets them back and then puts them to, um for sale um so i don't know what happened what happens with the premiere it's a great shoe though um, definitely, like I said, if you're looking to add some color to your game, but maybe you're still a little bit traditional or you kind of don't want to um, bust out a lot of money, because let's face it, um, Nike shoes are really expensive. Well, I mean, all of them are. You know, you got your Adidas that are expensive and the two something, you know, your Pumas. Um, and then the Mizuno, they go over $300 right now. And that to me is insane. Um, so if you want something that's still light, it's new technology, um, that, you know, it's an all around cleat, this, the rounded stuff, I, I, I personally like that. At first I didn't think I was going to because I feel like they're too low, but once you get in playing with them, you know, that you don't even notice a difference. Um, traction is good. Uh, now people might want to, with this play in... With this uh, stud pattern or shape, rounded, you might be tempted to play with them and artificial grass or turf, but I would stay away from that just because the leather is so good. And then eventually you might have like some sole separation or just your shoes might rip. And um, I don't know if Nike will give you your money back or you could try to take them back at that point, but I don't. they might tell you that that's your own fault I don't know I'm not sure so I would definitely just stick to natural um, grass uh, with these if you do get them but like I said order your size um, it's a great shoe um, I wouldn't say it's close to the temple the temple still offers a little bit more but you can't beat this price for $110 and you're getting I'm, you're getting a premium shoe um, it's just I don't, I, I don't know why Nike just chooses not to, you know, have it in a, in a premium lineup or have a player wearing it. I don't know. Um, but I really like them, and it's going to be one of my go-to shoes uh, for this season. As you can tell, or as you can see, I have a lot of papers and, you know, just a bunch of different shoes. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to stick to uh, the retro old school look and uh, feeling boot because it's just more comfortable for me. And to be honest... I don't really play on the best field conditions, so it's like, why do I want to put my, you know, new clean boots through that? You know, if I was playing on good fields, then I wouldn't care, but... So, Premier is definitely a good shoe. I recommend it. Um, oh, hold on. Alright, so one more thing I wanted to say before I go is that it was after designed after this boot here which is a Ronaldinho uh, tempo and um, I would say this is definitely lighter than this one um, but they're both great shoes actually I think this leather might feel a little bit softer but I think this is just more a little bit more padding it has a little bit more padding on it than this one but two great shoes 
um, this is going to be a little bit heavier in this. And I think I'm going to do a play test just kind of comparing the two. Um, so look out for that video soon if you're interested in buying these. Um, but in my opinion, it's a great shoe. You can't go wrong with it. And I totally recommend it. Nike Premier 2 in whatever colorway that you get.